Sneha Akash Raut, MBBS third year student from Institute of Medicine and this video is being suited by my friend Suresh Shrestha, colleague from the same college. Today we will be dealing about the immunity. So what actually is immunity? Immunity is the resistance provided by an organism towards a particular pathogens, microorganisms or toxic molecules. So it is mainly of the two types. Innate immunity and then acquired immunity. So innate immunity, as the name suggests, it is present at the time of birth. But today we will be focusing on the acquired immunity. The immunity which we obtain during our uh, acquired from the outside, before birth and after birth, it may be. So it is mainly of the two types, active and passive immunity. As the name suggests, active. So in this, our immune system is playing an active role. So our immune system will form antibody. How it will form antibody? So in this, our body get exposure to antigen. So after some time, that is a latent period of time, in which our body will process the antigen and produce the specific antibody. So active immunity, as is latent period, so late or the slow phase response, what is long lasting? Long lasting in the sense, once it is formed, it will present throughout the lifetime. It has got the two courses, natural and artificial. Nat in this, naturally we are getting an antigen. So how we get the natural and antigen in the case of infections, infections or diseases. So after disease, that is the following disease, our body will form the antibody and that will have a memory response. In the case of chicken pox, small pox, measles, mumps. Once we get these diseases, then following these infections, we do not get affected a second time with same infections. Second one is a subclinical. Following subclinical infections means we are getting a small dosage of the pathogen but not in the concentration to cause the disease. So in this we are also forming the anti forming the antibody. It is in the case of tuberculosis and brucella. Now artificial. Artificial artificially acquired active immunity. That is we are getting through vaccinations or vaccines. So in vaccines we are again being exposed to the antigen or pathogens but that pathogen has no virulence or virulence 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 in the case in the sense of causing diseases so it will not cause disease but retain antigenicity in the sense it will evoke the antibody productions so vaccines vaccines are of various types like vaccines kill vaccines are in the form of toxoids so bacterial for bacteria Live vaccines and killed vaccines. Live vaccines are mainly in the BAP. B for BCG, B for Brucella, A for anthrax, P for plague. Kill, um, kill for TAB, that is uh, typhoid vaccine, paratyphi A and B for enteric fever. Cholera and pertussis. Now for um, coming on to the uh, viral viral case. Viral again live vaccine and killed vaccines. So live S2 M2 I. I have again made a new unit. S4 a smallpox. Uh, S4 a smallpox. S4 Sabine polio that is oral m4 measles m4 mumps i4 influenza killed is for mainly um, sac polio that is injectable injectable hepatitis a and b lastly is the toxoid form toxoid is for diphtheria and then it ends. So this all is about the active immunity. 
second one is the passive immunity in this our body our immune system is passive that is not forming the antibody so there is no antigen exposure or antigen exposure is not mandatory many sometimes antigen exposure but our body is not forming the antibody so our <coughs> immune system is passive so it has also got the two courses natural and artificial so naturally how we are getting the um, immunoglobulin or immunity in the case of mother passes IgG via placenta to the fetus similarly the mother passes IgA immunoglobin via colostrum if you remember what is colostrum it is the first pale milk so in this the fetus is being given the ready made antigen antibody from the mother now coming on to the artificials artificial in the case of uh, a snake bite uh, a spider bite acute serum sickness or then or food poisoning in this we cannot wait for our body to form the antibody so we have to rely on the artificial or ready-made antibody so it comes mainly in the three preparations human pooled immunoglobin human immunoglobin and then animal immunoglobin animal immunoglobin so I will not be giving in detail in all of this but I will give you a brief review in animal immunoglobin what we do we inject an animal mainly a hyper immune horse with an antigen causing diseases so it will its body will after some time or latin period of time will form the antibody so we will again increase the antigen so antigen until the antibody in the body of horse will circulate into the blood so after that we will extract the antibody and will inject into the non immune individuals so this is the case of artificially acquired passive immunity coming on to the history all we know what who is the father of immunology edward jenner who laid the foundation of um, vaccination that is the louis pasteur and who laid the foundations of passive immunization von Bering. if this video is really helpful to you then please like and tap the subscribe button for next videos thank you